Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear students, today we are starting exercise 13.2 of surface area and volumes for class 9. Let us have question number 1. It says the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of height 14 cm is 88 square cm. Find the diameter of the base of the cylinder. So, we are given with a cylinder like this. We have a cylinder just like this. Its curved surface area is given and that is 88 square centimeter. Height is 14 centimeter. Height is 14 centimeter. Find the diameter of the base of the cylinder. You need to find the diameter of this cylinder. <coughs> you know this is a diameter because the circular end, the cylinder has two circular ends and the diameter of the circular end is the diameter of the cylinder. You can write here. Let us write what is given. Here height of, uh, height of cylinder is equal to 14 centimeter. Height of cylinder is equal to 14 centimeter. Then I have mm, uh, surface area, curved surface area. Is it curved? Yes, it's curved surface area. CSA of cylinder is equal to 88 square centimeter. Since you know curved surface area of cylinder, we know the formula for finding out curved surface area. You can refer to the previous videos of this very chapter. Curved surface area of cylinder is equal to twice pi r h, which implies that so curved surface area is 88 is equal to now twice r 2 times r. It's or you can just write twice times. Now pi you can take pi as 22 by 7 unless stated otherwise. You can take pi 22 by 7 unless stated otherwise like 3.14 or something like that. 2 pi r we don't know and h is 14. Now we can do cancellation 7 ones, 7 twos. Then you can go two ones, two fours, two fours, then two ones, two twos, two twos, then twenty two ones and twenty two ones, which implies that R is equal to one centimeter. So you got radius one centimeter, therefore diameter, you know diameter is 2 times r, that is 2 times 1, and that is 2 centimeter. And that's your answer. You were required to find diameter, so diameter of this cylinder is 2 centimeter. <coughs> Make a note. Let's have the next question. It is required to make a closed cylindrical tank of height 1 meter and base diameter 140 centimeter from a metal sheet. How many square meters of the sheet are required for the same? So you need to find, you need to make a closed cylindrical tank of height 1 meter like this. Cylindrical tank. Just like this. Oh. 
of height 1 meter height is 1 meter and the base diameter 140 centimeter base diameter 140 centimeter then how many square meters of sheet are required to make the same now since it's a closed cylindrical tank closed means top and bottom both are closed so you are concerned with the total surface area of the cylinder here so all you need to do is find uh, total surface area of the cylinder and for that you need a formula twice by r times h plus r convert this 140 centimeter to meters first so divided by 100 you get 1.4 so 1.4 meter is the diameter and 1 meter is the height now you can use this formula by the diameter you get the radius divided by 2 so 1.4 divided by 2 that's 0.7 and that will be your radius so 2 times 22 by 7 times radius that is 1.4 by 2 times h1 plus the same radius and solve that you'll get the result that is the total surface area of the cylinder and whatever you get the total surface area that is the area of sheet required area of metal sheet required to make the same now next question says a metal pipe is 77 centimeter long there is a metal pipe Metal pipe, 77 centimeter long. Length of this pipe is 77 centimeter. The inner diameter of the cross section is 4 centimeter. Now, it's actually like this. Like this. just like this this is the opening this much this is opening opening so it says inner diameter of the cross section cross section means if you cut this transversely like this for example you have like this you cut like this and you got this shape this is a circular shape this is called the area of cross section so area of cross section of the cylinder is again a circle so that means inner diameter of the cross section so this is also called this is also the cross section because you get the similar shape here if you cut anywhere in between so that will be treated as the cross section 4 cm is the inner diameter 4 cm the outer diameter being 4.4 cm 4.4 cm is the outer diameter <coughs> find its inner curved surface area now you need to find inner curved surface area this much inner and total surface area and you are required to find total surface area and outer curved surface area Inner curved surface area, outer curved surface area, and total surface area. See, is it question number three? Yes. Here. Here, length of pipe. 
length of pipe will be treated as the height of cylinder and that is how much 77 centimeter then in the diameter let us say d1 diameter of pipe d1 inner diameter inner the diameter let us say d1 of d1 that is equal to 4 cm then we have outer diameter outer diameter let us say d2 that is equal to 4.4 cm got it therefore inner radius inner radius r1 let us say r1 will be 4 by 2 and that is 2 cm outer radius let us say r2 is equal to 4.4 divided by 2 that's 224.2 cm 2.2 cm is the outer radius this one outer radius outer radius is 2.2 cm then then our inner radius outer radius is this then we can go like this uh, we need to find first first part is uh, inner curved surface area so for inner curved surface area you just take radius of this and height of height will be the same since curved surface area of cylinder we know the formula for curved surface area that is twice pi r h twice pi r h which implies that inner curved surface area of pipe inner curved surface area of pipe will be equal to inner curved surface area will be equal to let us say CSA I CSA I of pi and that is equal to twice pi you take 22 by 7 times radius is radius will be treated as inner radius that is r1 or first i write like this 2 pi r1 h and that is 2 times 22 by 7 times inner radius inner radius is 2 and then times height height is 77 now you solve this you get 7 ones, 7 allowance, then you get 2 twos 4. Let me do it fast by using calculators. I'll use my calculator. It's 2 times 22, 44 times 22. Now it's 968. 968 square centimeter. 968 square centimeter. Nine six eight square centimeter, and that's your answer for the first part. <coughs> Therefore, or you can just keep it like that. Then you need to find so this was the first part. It's your first part. 
first part of the question number three, inner curved surface area of pi, that is this, so it's 968 square centimeter. Now, let's have the second part, make a note. For I'll show you there. Second part. Second part is outer curved surface area. Outer curved surface area of pi. Let us say that is CSAO. Outer curved surface area of pi. And that is equal to when I say outer curved surface area just like this so for outer curved surface area I'll take R2 twice pi R2H and that is 2 times 22 by 7 times R2 what is R2? R2 is 2.2 2.2 then times 77. Now I'll solve it. Uh, this is 2 times 22 times 2.2 times 77 divided by 7. So it's 1064.8. 1064.8. It is 1. 064.8 square centimeter. This is your first answer and this is your second answer. You got it? That's your second answer. How to curve surface area of five and that is 1064.8 square centimeter. Now finally we have part three. Part three is about Total surface area of the pipe. Part is total surface area of pipe. That is TSA of cylinder. TSA of cylinder. And you know the formula for total surface area of cylinder. That is twice pi. Twice pi r. Now there's a one catch. Whenever you are given with outer and inner radius uh, kind of a thing then at the time of total surface area what you are going to do uh, remember this point 2 pi first of all we write the formula twice pi r times h plus or first just go directly twice pi r times h plus r first of all let us say r because r and r2 was inner and outer Let's say R is our radius for the whole pi, whole radius, including uh, inner and outer radius. So twice pi R times H plus R. Uh, that will give you 2 times 22 by 7 times R. Now radius, when you take the total surface area, so you must take the radius of this thing. Or you can go... Outer minus inner radius will be outer radius minus inner radius. Um, so I'll go 2 times 22 by 7 times. Let us first check directly R. Let us take this 4.4 half, that's 2.2 2. R2 times H. What's H? H is 70. 7 plus 2.2. So let me solve this. It's 2 77 plus 2.2 times 2.2 times 4 Sorry, we missed one thing here. Either you can do one thing, you can go easily like this. C 
see what we can do. We can do like this. When you are about to find the total surface area of the uh, total surface area of the cylinder, that is inner curved surface area plus outer curved surface area. Or, or we have one more way. See, twice pi r times h plus r. But the problem is with radius. It can also be written as 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. Twice pi r h plus twice pi r square. Now for that, you can go. Radius is actually or do one thing. Don't go like this. See, total surface area I can also say inner curved surface area of, slip, of pipe inner curved surface area plus outer curved surface area inner curved surface area inner curved surface area means this much outer curved surface area means this much and area of two bases yes plus area of so there are two bases, so you can write twice area of base. Twice area of base, this and this. Now in a curved surface area you got 968 plus then outer curved surface area, inner curved surface area plus outer curved surface area plus twice area of base. So because in the uh, when you use curved surface area, you are excluding the two bases of the cylinder in in the curved surface area. Now 968 is this. Then outer curved surface area that is 1064.8, 1064.8. Then plus twice area of base. Area of base is circular, so that is pi r square pi r. Twice by R square. Now, in here, what you do, let's add this and this. So, 968, 968 plus 1064.8. 1064.8. So, 968 plus 1064.8, that is 2032. 203 2.8 You got it? Now see, the round to plus 2 pi r square. Now here is a small catch. I'll write 2 pi. Now radius. Which radius you will take here? You have outer radius and you have inner radius. Now when you do square, you are taking it like this. r 2 is outer. Yes. So R2 minus R1 whole square. So this is like this. Then you go 2032.8, then plus 2 times 22 by 7, then times R2 is R2 we got 2.2, 2.2 minus R1 you got 2, then you do the square. Like this, then let me solve this. What you'll get? You'll get 2 minus 2, 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 times 22 times 2 divided by 7, then plus. You got 2033.38 times 2.2. So you got 4.84 minus 224. Then you got times.
times 22, then you have times 2, then divided by 7, 5.28. Sorry, I wrote it wrong. You can write here R2 square. Sorry, we got it wrong here. It's twice pi r1 square or r2 square is outer r2 square minus r1 square just like this now this whole r square will be equal to r2 square minus r1 square remember this thing whole r square is equal to r1 square or r2 whatever is your outer outer square minus inner square it's like this actually so r square is equal to this and this then i can do 5.28 plus 2032.8 yes we got it now see how 2 point now it's 2032.8 plus 2 times 22 then I go 2.2 square minus 2 square that will give us now on solving this you'll get 2038.08 2038 square centimeter and that's your answer okay we can <coughs> now you can first square this that will give you 4.4 then square this that will give you 4 then 4.4 minus 4 you'll get 4.4 uh, minus 4 you get 0.4 then multiply that with this whole thing then add with this you'll get 2038.08 Now let's have the next question. <clears throat> now question number four. It says the diameter of a roller is 84 centimeter. We have a roller. cylinder it is often used to level the playground you might have seen in different kind of sports that how the roller is used to level the playground there is a roller and the diameter of this roller is 84 centimeter this is a diameter it's 84 centimeter and its length is 120 centimeter. This is the length, 120 centimeter. It takes 500 complete revolutions to move once over to level a playground. Now, to level a playground, once to level a playground, it takes 500 revolutions. One revolution is like this. For example, this is a roller. This is a roller. Now, if it starts like this, then this is a one revolution. The moment it comes to the same point, that is considered as the one revolution of the roller. And it takes 500 complete revolutions to level a playground. Find the area of the playground. Now, all you need to do is just find the area of the playground. Now, it's very interesting question. What you do, you just find the curved surface area of this roller. Now, the curved surface area of the roller and the one revolution. On one revolution, when it takes one revolution, so that means one revolution is equal to the one on one revolution, the area of playground for one revolution is equal to the curved surface area of this cylinder. Then you can multiply it accordingly with 500, you will get the result. You see how here. Diameter of roller, diameter of roller. 
is diameter of diameter of roller is diameter of cylinder and that is how much 84 centimeter 84 centimeter let us convert this to meter because at the end you have to go in meters let us convert this in meters so you get 84 divided by 100 now on dividing 100 you are in meters so that will give you 0 0.84 meter so 0.84 meter is the diameter of a roller therefore a radius of roller will be treated as radius of cylinder and that is half of the diameter 0.84 divided by 2 and that will give you 0.42 meter 0.42 meter is the radius of this roller then you go length of a roller and length of a roller will be treated as height of cylinder because if you pull it upside like this so length will be the height height, height is 120 centimeter again convert it to meters 120 divided by 100 you are in meters now, now cancel zero so you will get 1.2 1.2 meter 1.2 meter yes then you will find curved surface area since CSA of roller now find the CSA of roller is equal to CSA of cylinder and CSA of cylinder you know it's twice pi r edge you know 2 times 22 by 7 then times what is radius radius is 0 0.42 then times height that is 1.2 let me solve this on calculators 2 times 22 times 0.42 times 1.2 divided by 7 so we get 3.168 square meter. 3.168 square meter. That is the curved surface area of roller. Yes. Now after that, now curved surface area of roller is 3.168 square meter. That means when it takes one revolution, area of playground will be 3.168. Now, in total, it takes 500 complete revolutions. Is it 500? Yes, 500 complete revolutions. Now, curved surface area of roller is equal to 3.168. Therefore, area of playground, area of playground under under one revolution. Area of playground under one revolution is equal to 3.16 a square meter. Now we get times 500. It's 1584. Yes. Area of playground under one revolution is 3.168. Hence, the required required area of playground for area of playground under 500 revolutions will be equal to 3.168 times 500 and on multiplication that will give you 15 Eight four square meter, and that's your answer. Make a note.
Now after that question number 5 is a cylindrical pillar 50 cm in diameter and 3.5 meter in height and the cost of painting the curved surface area of the pillar at the rate of rupees 12.50 per square meter. Now here uh, there's a there happens to be a cylindrical pillar which is 50 cm in diameter. It's a simple question and you are given with the diameter then you can find radius from that. You are given with height then you can find uh, cylindrical pillar find the cost of the painting the curved surface area. So you have to find the cost of the painting the curved surface area. That means you just find the curved surface area. Then you see uh, for one square centimeter you have 12.50 rupees. Then whatever you get the curved surface area multiply 12.50 uh, with that you will get the total cost for painting the curved surface area of the pillar. Then question number 6, curved surface area of a right circular cylinder is 4.4 square meter. If the radius of, now 6 says, I'll give you some idea about question number 6. Curved surface area of a right circular cylinder is 4.4 square meter. Curved surface area is 4.4 square meter. If the radius of the base is 0.7, radius is 0 0.7 meter. This is your radius. And uh, find the height, you need to find the height. Find the height. Just apply the formula for curved surface area, equate it with 4.4, you have radius, you will get the height because only one variable is missing. That is H, you have CSA2 by R, H, R is here, H you have to find and equate it with 4.4 because curved surface area is given. That will give you the diameter of the curved surface of this cylinder. Now, seventh, the inner diameter of a circular well is. 3.5 meter if it is 10 meter deep find the inner curved surface area and the cost again you need to find you have diameter you have radius and you have height that means by that you can find inner curved surface area easily uh, by applying the curved surface area formula then cost of plastering this curved surface area now you need to plaster this curved surface area so uh, for 1 square centimeter you have means 40 then whatever you get in the first part multiply it with 40 you will get the total cost of plastering the curved surface area of this very well. Now question number 8 in a hot water heating system there is a cylindrical pipe of length 28 meter and the diameter 5 centimeter find the total radiating surface in the system remember this thing radiating surface means radiating surface means curved surface radiating surface means curved surface because when heat is radiating it is radiating in the form of the curved surface area like this this is the formation of the heat radiation so you can apply the curved surface area formula for the same now question number 9th, I'll show you the 9th, it's a bit different one. Question number 9 says find the lateral surface area of a closed cylindrical petrol storage tank. So you are given with a petrol storage tank and it's closed. Closed means you need to have a total surface area. It's closed by the top and by the bottom. If we make it closed cylindrical tank, diameter is 4.2 and height is 4.5. See. So it's like this. This is a closed petrol storage tank in which a tank in which petrol is stored four point two meter in diameter four point two meter is your diameter 
4.5 meter height. So height is 4.5 meter. Got it? Find the lateral surface area of this tank. We can find it easily, lateral surface area. Let us see here. Diameter of tank is the diameter of tank is diameter of cylinder. And that is how much? 4.2 meter. Therefore, radius of tank is radius of cylinder and that is 4.2 divided by 2 that is 2.1 meter. The height of tank is height of cylinder that is 4.5 meter. Got it? Since curved surface area of tank is nothing but curved surface area of cylinder. Curved surface area of cylinder. Or lateral surface area. And that is equal to twice pi r h. Do we have to take 2.3? No. So you can do 2 times 22 by 7 times, now radius is what? 2.1 times, height is what? 4.5. Let me solve this. So it's 2 times 22 by 22 times 2.1 times 4.5. 2 times 22 times 2.1 times 4.5 divided by 7. So it's 59.4. 59.4. 59 59.4 square meter. And that's your curved surface area of the tank. And write it then. And then curved surface area of tank is 59.4 square meter. This was your first part. This was your first part. Now your second part. Your second part says how much steel was actually used if one twelve of the steel actually used was wasted in making the tank. Since it's a closed circular tank, so closed cylindrical tank, that means when it is made, when it's made. Uh, the steel used, total steel used will be the total surface area of this tank, yes. But 1 by 12 is the wastage of the steel. So let us see this way. What we can do, we can first find the total surface area of this tank. Total surface area of tank is, either we can go for the formula or I can directly say, Lateral surface area plus area of bases. And that is lateral surface area of tank plus plus twice area of bases plus twice area of bases. Lateral surface area you got that's 59.4 then plus 2 times area of bases that's pi r square pi r square that will give you 59.4 plus 2 times 22 by 7 times radius is 2.1 square Now let me solve this you'll get 2.1 times 2.1 2.1 2.1 times 44 divided by 7 then plus 59.4 that will give you 87.12 87.12 square meter square meter this is the total surface area of <coughs> This is the total surface area of the tank. 
Now that means the total steel used. Now, total steel used is equal to, see, I'll write like this, since total how much steel actually used, total steel used Total steel used will be equal to total surface area of tank plus wastage. Am I right with this? Total steel used will be equal to total surface area of tank because it's used in making the tank and plus wastage. Yes. Now, what is total surface area of tank? It's 87.12. Plus, what is wastage? It says 1 by 12 of the steel actually used. Let the total steel used 1 by 12 of the actual steel used. Let it be x, which implies that. Let this be x. Total steel used be x. So, 87 plus 1 by 12 x. 1 by 12 of total steel used. You write the reason. Let the total steel, let the actual steel used be x. So you are like this. Then you get x minus x by 12 is equal to 87.12 then you get 12x minus x that's 11x divided by 12 is equal to 87.12 which implies that then you get 11x is equal to 87.12 times 12 which implies that x is equal to or therefore x is equal to 87.12 times 12 divided by 11. Now let me do this. Times 12 divided by 11. That is 95.04 square meter. And that's your answer. You can check the answer. You got it? That's your answer. 95.04 square meter. Make a After that, question number 10. In figure 13.12, you see the frame of the lampshade. It is to be covered with a decorative cloth. The frame has the base diameter 20 cm, the height 30 cm, a margin of 2.5 cm is to be given for folding it over the top and the bottom of the frame. Find how much cloth is required for covering the lampshade. It's again easy question. I'll give you some idea about that. It's like this, we have a lampshade. You have lampshade like this. It is to be covered with a decorative cloth. The frame has the base diameter of 20 cm. The diameter is 20 cm. 20 cm is the diameter. Got And the height 30 cm. Height is 30 cm. A margin of 2.5 cm is to be given for folding it over the top and now when you apply the decorative cloth over it, it's like this, you need to fold the decorative cloth over the top and by the bottom, so that margin is 2.5 cm. 
centimeter. So you do like this. And bottom also like this and like this. This is again 2.5 by the bottom, 2.5 centimeter. Find the area of the cloth repair. Now this is again a cylinder, the whole cylinder. Now for that cylinder diameter is same, therefore radius will be same. But height is 30 plus 2.5 plus 2.5. That means 35 centimeter. So for height 35 centimeter and diameter and radius 10 centimeter, apply the formula for curved surface area because it's open by top and bottom. That will give you the area of cloth area of cloth required to make a lamp, required to cover the lamp shade. Then question number 11, the students of the Vidyale were asked to participate in a competition for making and decorating pen holders in the shape of a cylinder with a base using cardboard. Each pen holder was to be of radius 3 cm and height 10.5 cm. The Vidhali was to supply the competitors with cardboard. If there were 35 competitors, how much cardboard was required to be bought for the competition? Now it's easy. You have a pen holder which is of the shape of the slender. So height is given, that's 10.5. Radius is given, that is 3. And pen holder has the bottom base included. To, by the by the top it is open it is open from the top so find the lateral surface area of cylinder plus area of base you will get the total surface area of the pen holder now one pen holder has that uh, curved surface area what you will get then multiply it with 35 because we have 35 competitors so you will get your answer Then let us have exercise 13.3. Exercise 13.3 now let us have question number 1. It says diameter of the base of a cone. Now you are dealing with cones. Let me bifurcate it. So we have a cone. We have cone. The diameter of the base of the cone is 10.5 centimeter. This is the diameter 10.5 centimeter. Then, and its slant height is 10 centimeter. This is a slant height. This is 10 centimeter. Find its curved surface area. Find the curved surface area. See here. Here, diameter of base is equal to 10.5 cm, therefore radius of base is 10.5 divided by 2, that is 5.25 cm, 10. 10.5 divided by 2 is 5.25, yes. You know, curved surface area has formula pi r l. Radius is given, slant height is given. Slant height, 
slant height of cone L, nah? L of cone that is height of cone is represented by H of cone and length slant height of cone is represented as L. L of cone is 10 centimeter. Got it? Thus, CAC of cone will be pi r l and that is 22 by 7 times radius is 5.25 then times slant height is 10 now solve for this what you get times 22 times 10 divided by 7 you got 165 square centimeter and that's your answer. <coughs> you got it? Now question number second. It says find the total surface area of a cone if its slant height is 21 meter and diameter of the base is 24 meter. Let me show you second. Find the total surface area of the cone if it's slant height. Now you have a cone. You have again a cone. Its slant height is 21 meter. 21 meter is slant height. Diameter is 24 meter. Diameter is 24. You need to find the total surface area. Here, now see, here diameter of cone is 24 meter, therefore radius of cone, what do you like, implies, which implies that radius of cone is equal to 24 by 2, that is 12 meter. Slant height of cone. Slant height of cone is 21 meter. Then you'll find height of cone, which implies that height of cone. Height of cone will be equal to. Or you just write directly. We'll put it here in the form. All right, down, no problem. I told you. In the introduction lecture, that if you are required to find the slant height of the cone, it is equal to L is equal to square root H square plus R square. So height of cone will be equal to square root of H square plus R square. Sorry, height of cone is slant height of cone. Slant height of cone is 21 meter, which implies that slant height is actually square root x square plus r square. That is equal to 21. You got it? Then you can solve that. Squaring both sides, you get h square plus radius is 12. So 12 square is equal to 21 square. You got it? Which implies that h square is equal to 21 square 21 times 21 that's 441 441 minus 144 that is 297 so h is root Let me find square root of 297, square root of 297 that is 17.23, which implies that height is equal to square root of 297, and that is how much? Square root of 297 is 17.23. That is of the order 17.23 meter. So that's your height. <coughs> it's your height. Now, 
then therefore total surface area of cone is equal to pi l pi r times l plus r oh sorry sorry you were not required to find the height because in formula we don't use height sorry you are not required to find this Can put directly slant height of uh, cone is twenty one. Therefore, total surface area of cone, total surface area of cone is pi r times l plus r. That is twenty two by seven times what is radius? That's twelve times slant height is twenty one plus twelve. We can solve this directly. That will give you twenty two times twelve. Then you go thirty three times twelve. Then times twenty two. Then divided by seven, you'll get one two four four point five seven. One two four four point five seven. Let me check it. Yes. That's your answer. That is your answer. Got it? Now let's have the next one. <clears throat> Now next one is curved surface area of the cone is three hundred eight square centimeter, and its slant height is fourteen centimeter. Find radius of the base and total surface area of the cone. Curved surface area is given, slant height is given. That that means you can apply the formula for curved surface area. You will get the radius, and by getting the radius, you can apply the formula for total surface area. You will get it easily. The question number four: A conical tent is 10 meter high, and the radius of its base is 24 meter. Find slant height of the tent. Now let me show you question number four. <coughs> Conical tent is 10 meter high. So you have a conical tent, just like this. This is your conical tent, and its height is given. Its height is 10 meter high. 10 meter is its height then radius of its base is 24 meter a radius is given now you know this is height this is radius and this is slant height it's 90 here radius is 20 24 meter 24 meter is radius then find the slant height of the cone you need to find the slant height of the cone and see here here radius of tent is equal to radius of cone is equal to 24 meter height of tent height of tent is equal to height of cone and it is 10 meter yes then which implies that slant height of You know there's a formula h square plus r square. This is the formula for finding out the slant height, and that will give you uh, 10 square plus 24 square. That will give you 100 plus 
576 then you can add 576 to 100 you get 676 then radical 676 square root of 676 that is 26 here 26 meter so you have a slant height 26 meter that's your <coughs> first part. It was your first part. First part, slant height of four. Now second part is cost of the canvas required to make the tent. Now for tent, you use curved surface area because its tent is open by the bottom. Let's find curved surface area. Since curved surface area of tent is curved surface area of cone, and that is pi r l, that is 22 by 7, radius is 24, times slant height is 26. Let us solve this. 22 times 24 times 26 divided by 7. It's 1961.142. Or you see 143. 143, which is all the order. This is all the order 1961.143 square meter. That is the curved surface area of tent. Now, now cost of canvas per square meter. Now cost of canvas per square meter. Cost of canvas per square meter is rupees seventy. Rupees seventy. Therefore, cost for 1961.143 square meter is equal to 1961.143 times 70. And that is rupees times 70. One three seven two eight zero. yes. <coughs> That is one three seven two eight zero. It is thirty thousand. Sorry, one lakh thirty seven thousand two hundred eighty. That's your cost, and that's your answer. Kindly make a note. Now question number 5, what length of tarpaulin 3 meter wide 
will be required to make conical tent of height 8 meter and base radius 6 meter. Assume that the extra length of material that will be required for stitching margins and waist stages in cutting is approximately 12 centimeter. See question number 5. What length of tarpaulin 3 meter wide will be required to make a conical tent <coughs> of height? So you are required to find, for example, there is a tarpaulin Tarpaulin is a cloth Let us say it is in the rectangular shape It is cloth rolled now you require to find tent out of this tarpaulin just like this let us say this is a tent what length of tarpaulin 3 meter wide now the tarpaulin is 3 meter wide so this is the breadth of tarpaulin what length of tarpaulin so you are required to find the length of this tarpaulin will be required to make a conical tent of height 8 meter the height of tent is 8 meter and base radius 6 meter base radius base radius 6 meter assume that the extra length of material that will be required for stitching margins and wastage in cutting is approximately 12 centimeter so 12 centimeter is the wastage you can say like that and you have to use pi as 3.14 now pay attention <coughs> this is a tent this is a tarpaulin here breadth of Tarpaulin is equal to 3 meter, then height of tent, height of tent is equal to 8 meter, radius of tent is equal to 6 meter, which implies that let us find slant, slant height of tent that will be equal to h square plus r square under the radical and h is 8 square plus radius is 6 square that will give you 1864 plus 6636 and that is 100 and square root of 100 that is 10 meter 10 meter is the length of slant height of tent got it <coughs> now now you can find the surface area of the tent that will be equal to the area of dark plate see since or according to condition according to condition area of tarpaulin area of tarpaulin will be equal to curved surface area lateral surface area or curved surface area of tent lateral surface area of tent Little surface tent plus wastage. 
because there is some portion of tarpaulin which is being wasted in making the tent. So plus wastage. Now area of tarpaulin is area of rectangle that is length times breadth. So it's length times breadth is equal to no, lateral surface area of tent. It's pi r l. Pi r l. This is slant height. So this is length of tarpaulin and this is slant height of cone. So these are different lengths. So let me represent this as l dash. Length of tarpaulin as l dash. So it's pi r l plus Wastage is 20 centimeter. 20 centimeter means 20 by 100 because we are dealing in meters. 20 by 100. I'll write reason as 20 centimeter. 20 by 100 meter. Got it? Which implies that that's L dash times now breadth is 3. I know that is equal to pi, you have to take 3.14. Then times radius is 6. Then times slant height is 10. Then plus this is 0 0.2. 0 0.2. Now let me solve this. <coughs> 3.14 times 60 plus 0.2 divided by 20 centimeters, yes, 20 centimeter. So I got 3.14 times 6 times 60, then plus 0.2, then divided by 3. So I get 62.89, that's approximately 63. So which implies that L dash is of the order. 62.89 6 is equal to 62.89 square meter therefore l dash is of the order 63 meter If it's not visible here, I'll write it here. Therefore, L dash is of the order 63 meter. That's your answer for question number 5. Now, let's have question number 6. The slant height and the base diameter of a conical tomb are 25 meter and 14 meter respectively. Find the cost of whitewashing the curved surface area at the rate of base 10 per 100 square meter. Question number 6. <coughs> Slant height and base diameter of the conical tomb. Now you have a conical tomb. <coughs> Slant height and base diameter are 25 and 14. So 25 is Slant height. 25 meter is slant height, then 14 meter is base diameter. Base diameter is base diameter is 14 meter. 14 meter is base diameter. And the cost of whitewashing its curved surface. So let us find the curved surface area. Here. Yeah. Diameter of base is 14 meter which 
implies that radius of base is equal to 14 by 2 that is 7 meter then you have slant height of bone that is 25 meter therefore curved surface area of bone it is pi r l that is 22 by 7 times 7 times 25 let me solve this twenty two times seven times twenty five divided by seven that's five hundred and fifty five hundred and fifty square meter five hundred and fifty square meter is the curved surface area of cone okay now if that's the case now cost of whitewashing cost of whitewashing per cost of whitewashing per 100 square meter per 100 square meter is equal to rupees 210 rupees 210 remember here it's not per square meter so you cannot directly multiply it's per 100 square meter apply the unitary method that means which implies that cost cost per square meter will be 210 divided by 100 yes so that will give you 2.1 is rupees 2.1 so 2.1 is your cost per square meter therefore cost for cost for 550 square meter is equal to 550 times 2.1 and that is rupees 550 times 2.1 that is 155 155 that's your answer hence the required cost is hence the required cost is rupees 1155 that's your answer make a note Then we have question number seven. A joker's cap is of the is in the form of a right circular cone of base radius this and height this. Find the area of the sheet required to make ten such caps. Now usually again because for cap, if cap is in the shape of a cone, a joker's cap usually is in the shape of a cone. So for joker's cap, it's like this. This is a joker's cap. Radius is given. Radius is 7 cm, radius 7 cm and height is 24 cm, height is 24 cm. Find the area of the sheet required to make 10 such caps. Height is given, radius is given. First you can have, you can get the slant height by under root h square plus r square. So you have a slant height now. Now you can find curved surface area. Curved surface area is by r l. Pi R is here, L is here. Pi you can take 22 by 7, then R is here, then L is here. So you got the curved surface area of one cap, one cap. And what and the curved surface area of 10 such caps is multiply that curved surface area times 10. So you'll get the answer. Then you have question number 8. Question number 8 says a bus stop is barricaded from the barricaded from the remaining part of the road by using 50 hollow cones made. Uh, of recycled cardboard. Each cone has a base diameter 40 cm and height. So you have a cone. You have a cone in the next question. This is a barric uh, this is a cone used to barricade barricade the uh, part of the road. Like the traffic cones. So you call it traffic cones uh, um, sometimes. So 
each one is a base diameter 40 40 centimeter is the diameter 40 centimeter diameter and height 1 meter your height is 1 meter if the outer side of each cone is to be painted and the cost of the painting is rupees 12 per square meter rupees 12 per square meter is the cost now what you observe what is the cost for painting 50 hollow cones, 50 such cones? Now first of all, when you paint the cone, it is the curved surface area. Now height is given and uh, diameter is given. First of all, diameter by diameter, you get the radius. Now your radius is 20 cm. Now radius, from, from the height and radius, you get the slant height under root h square plus r square. Now you have radius, you have slant height, you got the, um, you get the curved surface area that is pi r l. Now curved surface area pi r l, so you'll get it easily. Pi is, you have to take pi 3.14. Now if you take pi 3.14, then 3.14 times uh, radius, this radius 20, then times uh, the slant height, what you have, uh, what you would get from the height and the radius so you have a curved surface area of one cone then multiply it with the 50 so you got the curved surface area for 50 cones now for one square meter cost is 12 now for all that curved surface area when you multiply it with 12 that cost will be equal to 12 times that total surface that curved surface area of 50 cones that is the total cost for painting and in case You'll get some somewhere if you get square root 1.04, you treat it as of the order 1.02. If you get somewhere square root 1.04, that's 1.02. You'll get this when you solve for slant height, you'll get this expression square root 1.04. Take this as 1.02 and take pi 3.14. You got it? Make a note. See you next time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.